all the data uh, that I mentioned before, say for example, abroteron in addition to ADT and radiotherapy, uh, all these studies uh, has been done uh, many years ago, a few years ago. So at that time, uh, conventional imaging has been used uh, to exclude uh, metastasis. And we know that now uh, there are hot, hot topic and hot discussion in APCCC 2022 about the use of novel imaging, especially with PSMA PET scan. So therefore, in the past, we, if we use the conventional imaging, we might not detect uh, no positive disease. But what, now with the PSMA PET scan, we might detect a lot or, or more, in, or more and more uh, patients with uh, clinically no positive disease. And whether uh, the data regarding the use of EPI, ADT, and radiotherapy could be applied to the patients uh, with uh, CM1 that are diagnosed with the PSMA PET scan or novel imaging uh, remains uncertain. But I would expect uh, there will be more data uh, regarding the applications of uh, uh, novel imaging uh, in the future uh, for the management of locally advanced prostate cancer and especially uh, for CN1 disease. I hope that uh, their uh, ongoing trials will uh, uh, provide us more data about how to manage this patient optimally uh, with the novel imaging in the near future.